Hey YouTube, uh, Larry here, and today we're going to talk about um, well, my new um, tools that I just got today, and they are, it is the Cobalt 24 volt max brushless um, power tools. This is the uh, six tool combo kit. Um, it's, well, it looks like it's item number 1300191 that comes with a um, drill driver, an impact driver, a one hand reciprocating saw, um, the uh, work light, circular saw, um, and then the multi-tool along with a charger, a 2 amp hour battery, and a 4 amp hour battery. So, um, before buying this, which, you know, some of you will be like, oh, you should have bought DeWalt, De Milwaukee, Makita, um, maybe other brands. Um, I've done a lot of research, and I was actually leaning towards um, buying Milwaukee or DeWalt. Um, but to get a kit like this from Milwaukee, DeWalt, um, Makita, you're looking at, you know, $750, $800 for a six-piece brushless kit. Um, now, I also took into consideration the um, cost of batteries because batteries are expensive. Um, I can actually buy the a single four-amp-hour battery um, for the my DeWalt set for 50 bucks a piece, or I can buy a two pack for 99 bucks, or I can buy one of their six hour or six amp hour batteries for um, $99. Where if you look at DeWalt, which I would put DeWalt on the lower end of quality when it comes down to um, Milwaukee and some of the Makita stuff. Um, their batteries are, you know, when you're talking a four amp hour battery, you're going to pay a hundred bucks just for one. Um, if you get a six amp hour battery, uh, you're talking um, anywhere from, I've seen them as cheap as 150 bucks all the way up to almost $200 for a six amp hour battery. Um, I took that into consideration. I've also watched a lot of um, YouTube videos where people have put, the impact driver um, head to head against other brands like Rigid or Ryobi or whatever that are in the store brand um, uh, quality and pricing. But I've also seen the one handed reciprocating saw put up against Milwaukee, DeWalt, all, the, all your big name brands. And this one in their head to head testing and all that actually. Um, as far as they were concerned, based on performance, ergonomics, um, and things like that, this one actually performed as well and tied in their comparison test um, for first place with uh, Milwaukee. So, you know, that, that was huge. Um, I've watched a lot of videos on, on these tools, but I decided to go ahead and get them. This um, kit is uh, not sold in the Lowe's stores. You can get it on their website. They do sell um, a four tool that you can get in the store. So I had to pay shipping and handling on this one. But when you figure that this one-handed recip saw is $99 by itself, um, it's actually, you know, the whole entire kit cost me $269, $55 for shipping and handling, and then sales tax. Came up to a little over $340. Um, so the only tools that I would need to complete the Cobalt line would be the jigsaw, the full-size reciprocating saw, and also the uh, angle grinder. Um, but as for this set, like I said, it was, it, it was 
a good buy for what I was getting. And we'll just go ahead and open this up and see what all what we got going on here. So looking at the uh, you know the current information they have on here, uh, the drill driver has a two-speed gearbox. Um, these are all brushless motors. Uh, it has a half-inch keyless chuck. Um, the clutch on it is 24 position, has a variable speed trigger, and it has an LED work light. Um, puts out 650 inch-pounds of, uh, of power and has a maximum speed of 2,000 RPMs. The impact driver um, is quarter inch, you know, just like all the others are. It has the LED work light, three uh, speed setting. It has a finish function. I don't really know what that is yet. I'll have to get into that. And then the variable speed trigger. 1,800 inch pounds of torque and 2,700 RPM. Um, this is the big one here is the... Uh, one-handed recip saw um, has a tool tool free blade change uh, has a work light um, has a manual trigger lock has a variable speed trigger um, says it's an ultra compact design I have actually seen where they've you know set these up next to you know other brands out there on the market and it's not the smallest one out there. Um, DeWalt happens to hold that um, pretty close. Um, this is about the same size as what the uh, Milwaukee is. But it has 3,000 strokes per minute. And um, from what I've seen, most of your one-hand recip saws have half inch to three quarters of an inch of stroke. And this one has a full one inch um, length of stroke. So you're actually with 3,000 strokes per minute, you're, you're cutting 3,000 inches in a, in a minute. Um, so this is low vibration. Don't know, haven't had it out and using it yet. Um, the circular saw um, is a six and a half inch. So it's uh, got a work light. It's got an electric brake on it. That's always a good thing. Um, it has a uh, max cut depth of six and a half inches. Um, says that uh, six and a half inch circular saw with seven and a quarter inch blade cut depth. Oh, I don't know. Um, don't know what the what that all pertains to. Um, I'm not a carpenter, or um, I'm just a do-it-yourself kind of guy. It also has a max speed of 5,400 RPMs. The um, multi-tool. Um, obviously, is an oscillating head that you know rotates or whatever. And it says it's got 20. 20,000 OPMs, um, so the oscillation per minute, and it says it's low vibration. Um, and of course, it came with the work light, and it says it's 200 lumens. Uh, something about these, uh, the voltage system on here is everybody's, you know, like, oh, it's 24 volt. Well, oh, that's the maximum voltage. The actual nominal voltage is 21.6, where your 20 volt platform with your DeWalt's uh, are running like 18 volts. Now your Milwaukee, they give you give you the nominal voltage. So when their 18 volt line isn't a, supposed to be a true 18 volt uh, line, but this comes with the really nice. Uh, tool bag. It's got wheels and it's got the handle so you can you know, tote it around with you because it's not exactly light and it's got all the tools in it. 
but I will move this down here and first thing is literature. Now, if you're anything like me, you usually don't read the literature. It also has the uh, reset blade in it and it comes with um, a couple, let's go ahead and open this up. So you get one um, bimetal cobalt reset blade, six teeth per inch, belt clip, second belt clip, a couple of screws along with a, um, looks like a really nice uh, Phillips adapter bit. more screws one must be for the uh, the bit holders along with being able to attach the uh, belt clips then you get a Phillips and a standard straight head screwdriver bit One four amp hour battery, half charged. Got a box. All right, the box comes with a bunch of um, tools, or I'm sorry, they're not tools, they're actually uh, um, accessories for the um, multi-tool. Um, uh, three different uh, cutting blades here that have a fine fine tooth on the end and then it has a more of a coarse tooth on the sides uh, yes it's just a flat flat edge here you got a looks like a sanding head attachment that the uh, sanding square and triangles can be attached to uh this one's got a serrated edge around all the way around the arc a little half circle another half circle it looks like it's got a rough grit for doing sanding or whatever all right so let's see here here's another here's the other battery this is a two amp hour And it is also half charged. I have to get both of those on the charger as soon as possible. Got a, the work light. Got a little hook, hook here on the back so you know we can hang it up or whatever from something. Um, actually, feels really nice in the hand. It's only 200 lumens, but you know. When you're working in small spaces, 200 lumens doesn't, doesn't take that much. So, the head rotates 135 degrees. Simple, you know, trigger, click it on, click it off right here. This would be the multi-tool.
Uh, this lever on top is for changing out attachments. Got an adjustment dial here on the side. So that was on one. Let's see what six does. Not too bad. It doesn't vibrate hardly at all. Granted, I'm not cutting anything with it. All right, the reef set flaw. So it looks like the uh, toolless key on it is a metal uh, rotating uh, deal right here. Now the big downfall of this is the shoe is uh, fixed, it's not adjustable in or out, doesn't pivot. Trigger locks right here. Definitely got a soft start on it. That's kind of nice. Hmm. All right, got the impact forward and reverse. Which is ambidextrous like a like all of them. Three speed settings. The uh, finish. Uh, choice on it is uh, looks like for uh, so that way you don't over sink a screw or whatever um, until I start playing around with it not real sure how that works or how can, how accurate it is let's see here what else we got in here Charger. Now the one thing I'm not a big fan of when it comes down to co the Cobalt power tools is, is that all of their chargers are a single docking station. They don't have a double docking station. They don't have um, the you know four or six port charging station, which since they are dis distancing themselves away from their manual hand tools and and all that they're supposed to be focusing more towards the uh, power tool side of their line and all that so hopefully they'll come out with um, more battery options along with um, more charger options so we got the drill driver Lights down down here on the bottom. Definitely has an adjustable, you know, based on how much you squeeze it, determines how much power it's going to, you know, apply. Now 
that's on speed one. Let's try speed two. And maxed out at 23. I mean, I can turn it over here to the, the screw function. The uh, got a nice uh, metal steel chuck where um, I don't have my other one sitting in here, but yes, I have cheap works impact and driver. Um, these are brushed, but the uh, drill driver has a plastic chuck or a I shouldn't say it's plastic it's it but it's not a nice heavy duty you know steel construction All right, let's see what else heavy duty handle for the uh, drill driver I'll have to put that on later. I got a nice, uh, got a plastic handle with a like a hard rubber overlay. Nice steel rod, steel jaws, or heavy duty aluminum jaws. Pretty nice. And last but not least. Circular saw. Hmm, that breaks almost instant. Got a heavy duty aluminum shroud. It's got a I'll have to check in, you know, in another video when I actually, you know, review each of these. It has a uh, ruler on the top. It also shows a zero degree and a forty-five degree um, angle on on there. I'm gonna guess that that's you know for lining up your your cuts. This would be the zero, obviously, and this would be for doing forty-fives or whatever. And then on this other side. Let's see if I can get that to focus. You have your bevel guide, and it goes all the way up to 50 degrees. Um, so zero to 50 degrees on that. Obviously, there's only one way to check all that, and that's you know to measure measure the stuff out. But it comes with a uh, six and a half inch uh, 24 tooth um, saw blade. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. The um, yeah. all right. So that was the uh, Cobalt Six Tool um, kit. Came with, like I said, the really nice rolling bag. Which let me see if I can pick you guys up here. Um, so it's got a spot for the saw here. Um, these are actually velcroed in, so you can. Um, one of the batteries was up here. Charger was down there. Another battery over here. The. Um, I think the drill driver was in this one. So, you know, you got a lot of room in there. It's a good heavy duty bag. It's got a pocket 
stuff on this side. I just got some sleeves. Another handle here. Around the front. Got an actual pouch. Sleeve, another sleeve. Another one on that side. Another pouch. And another handle. So, yeah. Not bad. So, once I get to where I got projects going on, I'll have to do um, a review on each of the tools based on when I use them and how, you know, what I'm using them for. I got a couple of projects coming up that, uh, um, a few of these will definitely get used. Um, I got a, I got some, uh, uh, one of the projects I'm going to do is put a hoist in so the girlfriend can lift the top off of her Jeep. And then that way we don't have to muscle it off. It'll be stored up out of the way. And that should be coming pretty soon. Um, I got garden beds to build. Um, so I got a chance to use these tools, um, driving screws or cutting lumber or whatever. And We'll get back to you uh, if you have any questions just you know leave comments down below and if you enjoyed this video click the like and subscribe buttons and i'll keep turning out videos for you guys all right have a good one